Yeshayahu, Isaiah 29. Woe to Ariel, to Ariel, the city where David dwelt. Add ye year to year, let them kill sacrifices on the feast day. Yet I will distress Ariel, and there shall be heaviness and sorrow, and it shall be unto me as Ariel. And I will camp against you round about, and will lay siege against you with a mount, and I will raise forts against you, and you shall be brought down, and shall speak out of the ground, and your speech shall be low out of the dust. And your voice shall be as of one that has a familiar spirit out of the ground. And your speech shall whisper out of the dust. Moreover, the multitude of your strangers shall be like small dust. And the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as chaff that passes away. Yea, it shall be at an instant Suddenly, you shall be visited of Yahuwah Savaoth with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, even all that fight against her and her munition and that distress her, shall be as a dream of a night vision. It shall even be as when a hungry man dreams, and behold, he eats, but he awakens, and his soul is empty. Or as when a thirsty man dreams, and behold, he drinks, but he awakens, and behold, he is faint, and his soul has appetite. So shall the multitude of all nations, rather of all the nations, be, that fight against Mount Sion. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For Yahuwah has poured out upon you the ruach of deep sleep and has closed at your eyes, at the prophet's and at your rulers, the seers, has he covered. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a sefer that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, rather learned, saying, Read this, I pray you. And he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the sefer is delivered to him, that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray you. And he says, I am not learned. Wherefore Adonai said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among at this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahuwah, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who sees us, and who knows us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, He made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, He had no understanding? Is it not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the sefer. And the eyes of the blind 
shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek also shall increase their joy in Yahuwah, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Yashadael. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that wit watch for iniquity are cut off, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproves in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Therefore thus says Yahuwah, who redeemed eth Avraham, concerning the house of Yahuv. Yahuv shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. But when he sees his children, the work of my hands in the midst of him, they shall sanctify my name, and sanctify eth the Holy One of Yahuv, and shall fear eth the Elohim of Yaz, Yashara'el, They also that erred in the Ruach shall come to understanding, and they that murmured shall learn doctrine.